It's a beautiful day in Charlotte, North Carolina. You're watching the Powerade 7-on-7 seven seven Invitational from the Matthews Sportsplex alongside Craig Hobbard. I'm Jay Alter. Great game for you here. Newman Garetti out of Philadelphia taking on McGill Tulin from Alabama. What a great event. 32 teams, 19 states represented at the 7-on-7 seven seven Powerade Invitational. Craig Hobbard, Jay Alter with you. Prospects all over the field. We have eight games going on at one time. We're lucky because this game we have right now loaded with prospects. Absolutely. Absolutely. This is a, you know, a lot of these players here throughout have the opportunity to get ready for their season, Jay. Really start to work on their competitiveness, work together as a team in this type of event. And I think when you look when you look at McGill Tulin, they've got a lot of great players, but I think one you got to start with is 2021 wide receiver Jordan Mosley, a Tennessee verbal. This young man is sudden and explosive. He has a second gear. He's a big play wanting, waiting to happen. They're certainly going to want to try to get the football in his hands as much as possible. For Newman Garetti, the other side of the ball, they've got some playmakers themselves that also won in the 2021 class, and that is Taishim Johnson. This young man reports multiple offers, power five to the country he is a blazer 11 4 900 meter very elusive uh, type of player once again they're going to want to try to get him in space i think we've got two big time playmakers on this field today for each team those two stars take the field when we come back seven on seven fireworks surely to come on the other side one beard one blade in one go one blade is all you need. Shape or shave any length. Be your best you. Innovation and you. Phillips Norelco. 100 years of hard work. Tireless dedication. Relentless perseverance. It got us where we are. And made us who we are. Goodyear, more driven. Pull, dip, pop, like it's your J-O-B. Cheesy Bites Pizza from Pizza Hut is back, people. Time to go to work on them before they're gone. No one out pizzas the hut. The Powerade 7-on-7 seven seven Invitational is brought to you by the U.S. Marines. Game on mouth guards and by BSN, the official uniform provider of the Powerade 7-on-7 Seven Seven Invitational. Ready to go between McGill Tulin in orange and black and Newman Garetti out of Philadelphia in white and gold. McGill Tulin starting with the ball. This is 2021 quarterback Spencer Arsenault. And Two flags on the play. Before we can even get a ball going, we got yellow laundry all over the field. I thought that was a little bit, uh, a little bit of an aggressive call. I thought the coverage was pretty good there, but starting out for this Newman Gar Garetti defense. And obviously for McGill, Tool, and Jay, they've got a really promising quarterback in the 2021 class. And Spencer Arsenal, I think the young man's got a lot of talent. So far, one offer, but I certainly think he has FBS ability. We'll see those pick up. Just needs to continue to grow. Ball tipped and knocked away. Seven on seven rules, obviously different from 11 on 11. We have a 22 minute running clock. Each team starts with the 40 yard line. There are no running plays allowed. And if the quarterback holds on to it for longer than four seconds, it's a loss of down and a five yard penalty. That's one of the big changes in these seven on seven tournaments. Obviously, no offense or defensive linemen, so no hands in a QB's face, nobody barreling down, and they gotta work that clock. And to be honest with you, four seconds is actually quite generous to what you might get in a game in terms of having to get rid of that football. And it's one hand touch, not two. That picks up the first down for McGill Tulin. 
It's good to note in this Power 8 7 on 7 invitational, 32 teams and not one all star team. That is a rule for this Power 8 7 on 7 invitational. It's only high school guys. These guys will be suited up next to each other during the fall. And Craig, it's a great way to really shake off that rust and get your 2019 started here in Charlotte. Yeah, I think that's best for the game, too. I think seven on seven could be valuable, but I think it's best when it involves actual teams working together and not necessarily a lot of third parties involved in all-star type deals. Obviously, from a scouting standpoint, it could be great to see all those players in one spot. But I think this is really more in the true spirit of the game of football and these players preparing for their season. Every coach that we talked to, Jay, yesterday, they talked about really how this is a great tool for these guys to kind of build their camaraderie, getting ready for the 2019 season to work on their offense and defense. A lot of these coaches here today will play their players only in the position they will play this fall. They won't move them around just for the sake of the seven-on-seven -seven tournaments. A lot of big picture thoughts here for a lot of these teams taking part. First down th there. Remember, another rule in the seven-on-seven. -seven. You only get... Three downs, not four. So now for the 10 yard line, McGill Toulon has three shots at the end zone. <laughs> Cannot believe it as we are at the midway point of July. High school football, the 2019 season, little more than a month away. A bullet to the end zone, it's caught. Touchdown McGill Toulon, cashing in on the opening possession of this game. Yeah, they will kind of work their way downfield. You're going to see him. He's going to lock in to his left. Gets right past the pylon, gets down low, and is able to connect. And that's Kendall White with the reception and the touchdown. He was the 7A state, state champ in Alabama last year in track and field at the 110 meter. The, the, the fastest sprinter, if you will, in the entire state of Alabama. Didn't need the speed there, just needed the hands. Got the touchdown, got the extra point. The conversion from the five yard line is one point. You can double that by going from the 10 yard line. And now it's Newman Goretti's turn to answer. I mean, we were just talking with head coach Al Crosby. He says, I coached 11 guys who are currently in the pros right now, one right down the street playing for the Carolina Panthers, DJ Moore. And he says, Tysheen Johnson might be better than all 11 of those guys. So check out number one in Golden White. Certainly high praise coming from Coach Crosby. Big statement to talk about the type of talent that the 2021 running back Johnson has to kind of put him in that company and say potentially could be the best of all those. A lot of the offers, though, kind of backing up that sentiment. Still only a rising junior, but already full offer lit. Yep, offers from Stanford, Ohio State, Michigan, Penn State, Baylor, Michigan State, Nebraska. The list goes on and on and on. He's a 2021 prospect, so he can wait on his decision for a while. And he's already racked up 25 offers. And this is a good setting for him. No running plays allowed in this tournament, but he also shows on film he's got really reliable hands. And I think as a running back, to be able to show the more things that you can do and to be able to be a factor in the passing game, Tipped to the air, almost intercepted. Could not find a handle there. Malik Griffin. Well, and lucky it wasn't a turnover. Like a little game of hot potato. Oh, nope, it, it's a warm day. Nobody able to come up with it. Hey. <laughs> and that's turnover on down. So two points awarded to McGill Tulin, who have jumped out of the gate and been really impressive on both sides of the ball so far, Craig. Yeah, they really didn't give up any real estate on that shot. Really, nope. really uh, stout defensive stand there by McGill Tulin out of Alabama. And you said the teams that play the best defense likely come out as the champions yeah. of the seven on seven. You tournament. think seven on seven, you think high scoring, a lot of points. It's, it's the teams that communicate and play the toughest defense are the ones that are going to advance the furthest. And this Powerade Invitational has put even more emphasis on defense, awarding points for yeah. defensive efforts. Three points for an interception, two points for a turnover on downs. 
Yeah, chance to chance to get points defensively, and also I think, you know, you don't want to give up the big play. You want to force that offense to continually to have to take snaps, and if they're going to score, make them earn it, make them work their way down the field. Because the more snaps you make them take, the more opportunities for them to create a mistake and potentially create points for yourself defensively off of that mistake. Arsenal airing it out deep, just overthrows. That was Jordan Drake with some space in front. That could have been a touchdown if he got on the other end of it. Yeah, Jordan Drake was working towards the middle of the field. Had Ar Arsenal have been able to work him towards the middle of the field, actually threw it outside and saw him have to adjust, not able to, ultimately leading to an incompletion. down for Arsenault and McGill Tulin fires over the middle incomplete that's another turnover on down so after a day of a lot of offense for us Craig some defense showing up in game three yeah a little bit of confusion you had two two receivers right in the same area right? like about three yards apart from each other you see them both work in the middle it's Arsenault trying to find a receiver you see and there's a receiver right behind him as well not able to to get the connection and ultimately leading the points defensively for Newman Goretti. Get another opportunity here on offense. Goretti will be operating with two quarterbacks today. Marquee battle and Ryan Robinson in that quarterback battle. Coach Al Crosby telling us he has confidence in both guys. Right now it's Ryan Robinson, number 13. 21 2021 prospect coach really talked about his arm strength one of his his assets for the young QB it's actually Robinson who's playing the role of center for Marquis Adams those two switching roles there one is snapping one is throwing and Marquis the 2020 quarterback really coach really raved about kind of his his football IQ and the smarts he has It's interesting, we have not seen a lot of Tysheem Johnson on the offensive side of the ball. Well, I think uh, we know Johnson's good. I think McGill Tulin knows he's pretty good too, trying to take him out of the game plan. Force Newman Goretti to have to go to some other targets. Incomplete is the call. Khalif Jones thought he got it. And it's another turnover on downs. It's three in a row for these two teams as the defense is taking center stage. And a defense not allowing anything deep, forcing both quarterbacks now to have to go underneath in really tight coverage. We're seeing really good defense here early on for both of these programs. And for McGill Toolin, you have two defensive backs and Corey and Wilson and Jaded Mosley who are receiving big time offers so it's no surprise this team from Alabama McGill Tulin has played so well defensively as you take a look at their top recruits for this year's team. Yeah, we say Jordan Mosley 2021 class already committed to Tennessee and you see some of the offers and opportunities some of these other pro, uh, those other prospects from McGill Tulin. Our executive producer Mike Moore will be very happy the number 14 in orange is chosen the Vols. Arsenault. Arsenault held on to the ball a little too long. You only have four seconds to get rid of that thing before it's a five yard penalty and a loss of down. And obviously in this type of setting you really work on your routes, work on your offensive schemes, but the quarterbacks obviously you got to have that clock in your head. And it's really much different because you don't have that line. So sometimes you'll see these quarterbacks, Jay, they'll start to really creep up to where the ball was snapped, which is really not very accurate because right. in a game you're not going to be able to do that because yeah. you're going to have offensive defensive line there. So you got to stay a little bit deeper in the pocket, kind of mess a little bit with these with these quarterbacks and their kind of their footwork and their pocket awareness. Arsenault going deep, way overthrown. Didn't give a chance there for Jordan Drake to track it down. It's another turnover on downs. The defense, the star so far, 11-4 in favor of the team from Alabama, McGill Tulin.
type of experiences show that there's more than meets the eye here. Towering heights, exhilarating speeds, and natural beauty combine to create a lasting impression that is unmistakably Charlotte. This energy greets you as you embark on jam-packed days of exploration and discover the soul of the city that leaves you feeling instantly at home. Plan a weekend getaway at charlottesgotalot.com. Carol's bread gives you wrinkles. Ugh. Carol is our accountant. Mm. I need that pimento you need crunch. to center your breathing. Thai <laughs> peanut bowl. I need pickles and honey and butter on crispy chicken. There's something we should know. PDQ has handcrafted food for every mood. PDQ just made better. at the Powerade 7-on-7 seven seven Invitational. McGill tooling up 11-4 to four here in Charlotte. More than 32 teams. What do you feed some of the fastest players in high school football? How about Max Speed Shop Barbecue? After the teams arrived on Thursday, they feasted here in Charlotte. The best pork, more than 500 pounds of it, 600 pounds of mac and cheese, 370 pounds of coleslaw. Ooh, they can put it down. Max Mobile Barbecue Truck taking barbecue to a higher level. We have been at a high level today here at the Powerade 7-on-7 seven seven Invitational alongside Craig Hobart. I'm Jay Alter. We have had four turnover on downs, and what's unique about this tournament, Craig, is you're awarded two points for that. That's all Newman Garetti has to show for, looking for some instant offense. Oh, it was a yard away from the star prospect for Newman Garetti, Ty Sheen Johnson. Almost got to that one, it would have been an easy score. Yeah, as you mentioned, he was wide open, just let it way too far out in front of him, even for somebody with Johnson's speed, unable to get underneath it. Missed opportunity. For Newman Gar Garetti here on that first snap. Johnson with offers from Stanford, Ohio State, Michigan, Penn State. A 2021 prospect with 25 offers. Head coach Al Crosby telling us, I've coached 11 guys who have ended up in the NFL. DJ Moore, Carolina Panther included. Johnson may be the most talented. Big statement. You turn on the film, though, you see a very talented player. You see why Coach may feel that way. This is Newman Garetti's third possession. The team from Philadelphia has been unable to even convert a first down. So this is a big third down for this offense just to try and get something going, which has been a really clunky start offensively. We see them try to go deep to Johnson. You wonder if they try to get it to him underneath, let him run a little bit with the football. Picking up the first down there, needed a couple of yards. That's exactly what they get. Then they go to Johnson. You know, Craig, it's interesting. You've got a high level running back. Power five schools are all over him. Problem with this tournament is no running plays. So you've got to get him open in a different way that you're used to. You can just, during the fall, hand it off to him and let him go nuts. Throwing into double coverage, looking for Johnson again. That's knocked away. If we can show the versatility as a running back in a setting like this, obviously you're not going to be able to run the football out of the backfield, but to be show the ability to be able to have the ball skills to operate when you're releasing out of the backfield, to be able to split out, work from the slot. And I think this is the type of player you see on film and Taishim Johnson type of skill set that he has, that he could be a really well-rounded back with the ability not to only make plays when he works him out of the backfield as a running back, but also in a receiving game as well. Has to get rid of it within four seconds, just does. Sets up a manageable third down here, trying to get to the 10-yard line. Remember, in this seven-on-seven, seven, you don't get four downs, you only get three. 
So trying to avoid another turnover on downs here and pick up about five yards. Hey Craig, you've said it throughout the morning, but to be really successful, you have to have more than one guy. You got to spread that ball out. And Tajim Johnson, who's got 25 offers in the class of 2021, he's seen the ball three times on this possession alone. Let's see who they go to here. To the end zone, wide open. How do you leave him open? He'll make you pay every single time. Ty Sheem Johnson in the end zone for the first time today. For the most part, McGill Tulin has really done a nice job of kind of keeping their eyes on Johnson and where he is. But this time, you're going to watch him work. Entire defense, eyes to the left. <laughs> he just runs to the back pylon. Nobody runs with him. Nobody gets enough depth in there dropping. He is wide open. The second time today that Johnson has been able to break open free. First time they're not able to connect, but this time able to get some points. Offers from Stanford, Michigan, Ohio State, unable to convert on the one point conversion. So McGill Tulin still controls that one point lead and gets the ball back. Well, at least now Newman Garetti, their offense, able to kind of help. Their defense out. Their defense is the only one that put some points on the board until that drive. Maybe obviously able this drive to get their big time playmaker, Tysheem Johnson, more involved in the results and points. Yeah, it took to the third possession, but on that possession alone, you see what makes him such a special player. Able to break down almost single handedly that McGill tool in defense. Back to Spencer Arsenault, 2021 quarterback with a UAB offer, and he's intercepted. It's picked off. Three big points for Newman Garetti as they jump out in front 13 11. See the defender dropping back, watch him read, he sees it. Tries to throw it in that little bubble there. That's number nine. Ronald Holmes, uh, excuse me, uh, Dontrez Williams. Oh, excuse me, I was right, Ronald Holmes there. Dropping back, doing a nice job of kind of getting in the middle of that window with the interception. What a momentum shift here in Charlotte. The Power 8 7-on-7 seven seven Invitational. Looking for more, it's intercepted again. Newman Garetti takes the lead and what do they do give it right back back to back interceptions and this one Xavier Mitchell got up and grabbed it they're going to try to go to their playmaker down the field and the last time they tried to operate down the middle of the field they threw it too far inside once again a little bit underthrown two defenders there in coverage I watch him go up a really nice play in position if you're Newman Garetti, you have a two-point lead, you have the ball. That's the last thing you can do to change the momentum and give it right away. So now McGill Tulin back in the driver's seat. Leading by one, 14-13 under, five minutes to go. Just picked up a first down, so a fresh three downs here for Spencer Arsenault with this McGill Tulin offense. Pickups that moves the chains again inside the 10 yard line. So another first down. Three shots of the end zone here for McGill Tulin. Seeing both of these defense be able to step up and put some points on the board. And McGill Tulin after, after actually being able to quickly turn that back around. Get an interception, trying to knock it on the door here offensively. Fires to the end zone. Did he hang on? The officials say yes, it's a catch. Touchdown McGill Tulin, and that's a big one. A seven point lead, an opportunity to make it eight. It's number 16, Dallas Daffin working. Nice job, Evans. We'll see this uh, 
We'll see this probably be a, a big topic of conversation all throughout the fall, Jay. Catch, no catch. It looks like he had possession, both feet down before it being stripped out once he's out of bounds. And opportunity for McGill Toolin offensively to be able to put some points on the board coming off that interception. To make it an eight point lead for McGill Toolin. And the school from Alabama cashes in. 21 13 the lead. You know, Craig, as I look around it, as we get a change in possession here, this is one of eight games going on right now. All 32 teams that are featured in the Powerade 7-on-7 seven seven Invitational here in Charlotte will play seven different games today, all setting up a double elimination bracket tomorrow. An absolutely loaded field. Six ESPN 300 prospects. 19 different states represented. A lot of state champions taking the field today. And two really good teams in front of us right now. Newman Goretti trying to tie this game. They'll need to get not only the touchdown, but the two point conversion from the as 10 well. yard line. Yeah, working from the 10. Uh, uh, this first one, not able to make the connection, obviously puts the football under receiver. Nice job defensively, ultimately, though, breaking that up. All eyes on number one in gold and white. Tysheem Johnson has the lone touchdown for Newman Goretti today. Offers from Stanford, Ohio State, Michigan. Instead, they go to a second option. Rayshon Lively. And good enough for a first down, though. Newman Goretti has to hurry a little bit. 80 seconds left on this clock. The team from Philadelphia with their backs against the wall. And that's what is so fun about this format, Craig. With seven games, just constant run and gun. You can't get the clock to stop under one yes. minute, though. Incomplete pass, out of bounds, first down. They go right back to Johnson. So if you're wondering why there's maybe not a little bit more sense of urgency that you're seeing from Newman Goretti, they still know once they get under that one minute, clock will stop a little bit because obviously it's most important that they get this football in the end zone and get that opportunity for the two points. Win or lose, both of these teams with plenty of games in front of them. Flag comes in there. That will be against the defense. An arm coming across the back of Taishim Johnson, the star prospect. Automatic first down, half the distance to the goal. As Newman Goretti has 35 seconds left to get this ball in the end zone. Head coach Al Crosby drawing it up in the huddle. Still for them plenty of time to work with full set of downs here. I think the, the, the thing you don't want your quarterback right here to do is to press it and make a, th a throw that I could potentially turn the ball over and end the game for you, though. Looking once again for Johnson. The game plan seems pretty simple. Yeah. Get it into number one's hands as many times as we can. Second down here, and remember, you only get three. There is no fourth down. Here's Marquis Adams surveying the field out wide, stretching to the goal line. He was a yard short, third down, and a yard to go. Looking for Malik Griffin, who just swung out, and it was the right throw. Griffin, though, he sh as he settled, he should have been working his way to the pylon more. He just sat there too far away. So once he got the reception, he had a lot of ground to cover, even in a short space. It could have really helped his quarterback out a little bit more. All comes down to this. It's a touchdown. Newman Goretti with less than 10 seconds left. Gets it across the goal line, although, hold on a second. McGill Toolin clapping the defense, saying, that's not a touchdown. We'll wait for the official call. No foul. That's a good touchdown. And now Newman Goretti has to go for two. What will Al Crosby in this Philadelphia school draw up to try and get this game knotted at 21? Obviously, a lot of eyes will be on number one. 
You know that McGill Toulon's gonna know that as well. Try to take him out of the mix here. See a big target there inside, tall with the length. If we try to get it up. Have to go from the 10 yard line. Looking for Johnson. Can't get it to him. Great coverage from McGill Tooley, Toolin, Corey and Wilson. Man marking Taishim Johnson and sealing the game for the team from Alabama. Yeah, 2020 prospect reports offers from the uh, from the academies, Dartmouth, South Alabama, Central Michigan, a really nice play. We talked about them knowing about Johnson. They tried to hook it up to him. Corey and Wilson, though, they're on the spot. We see a really nice job of him breaking on the football. Young man who really plays fast on tape. Shows nice upside, and that defense coming up big there. Help maintain this lead. A great back and forth battle between these two teams. The defense is the best we've seen today on either side. Clock hits zeros and McGill tool and holds on a defensive stand on the two point conversion clinches the victory. We are about two hours into the seven on seven power rate invitational still a lot coming your way on ESPN plus Holmes County in Weddington coming up next and we will carry you all the way through three o'clock on ESPN plus 32 teams coming from 19 states six ESPN 300 prospects a lot of football here in Charlotte North Carolina. It's been a fun start here at the Power 8 7 on 7 Invitational. Partner, I don't know about you, I'm having a lot of fun. 2019 football is here. Craig Hobart, Jay Alter saying so long, we'll see you back in the afternoon. But the games keep coming. We've got another one right now.